Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be the greatest day of your life. You know, having a partner in a home team is something that can enhance your success better than anything ever in history, better than any book, better than any knowledge point, being with the right person and having somebody good in your life that supports you can change everything. You know, when you love someone, you'll do things that you probably wouldn't have done if you weren't with them. And, and what I mean is things that you want to impress them. You want to give them a better life. You want to do things that enhances you so you look better and you are better for them. So how do we know that we're with the right person? Yesterday I posted a video talking about how we know when we're with the wrong person, but today I want to talk about how do we know when we're with the right person? Because I believe falling in love is one of the most exhilarating experiences in life. Your whole world changes as a result of interacting with one single person, and suddenly you find yourself transforming too. Now, where's the catch? Love blinds you. Well, maybe not love itself, more like the hope that this time things will definitely work out. You know, you're holding on to that hope so tightly that you may be overlooking some red flags on purpose and letting yourself fall for someone who isn't right for you. But don't worry, you can actually absolutely tell when you're in a relationship with the right person. And I'm going to give you a few signs here that'll just let you know that, hey, this may be the right person for me and this is something to move forward with. Um, the first is your partner feels like home. And when I was thinking about this yesterday, something came to mind. So a little bit about me. I grew up in a small town on a farm. And it was a farming community when, that I grew up in until about the age of eight. And I loved that aspect of my life. I'd get in the pickup every day with my dad. And if I wasn't going to school, I was going to sit in some tractor with him. And he'd be doing some work. He did a lot of hay work. So he'd be cutting hay or baling hay. Or we also did cash crops. So maybe disking a field or planting or, you know, whatever it was related to farming. That was my place with my dad. And we did those things related to farming. And... I loved the, the small town relationships because we'd go to the cafe in the morning and have coffee and, uh, you know, or maybe breakfast. And he belonged to the American Legion. So after a hard day's work, he'd go to the Legion to have a beer with all of his veteran friends. And then their children would be there too. So those were my friends. And we'd play and run around and do crazy things while our dad sat around and talked about whatever and had a beer at the end of the day. And then we'd go home and we'd rinse and repeat. And the next day we'd do the same thing. Well, the majority of my fantastic childhood memories revolve around that country circumstance. That's where I loved that. I loved the, the hard work. I loved the people that we were around. It just was, it felt right to me. Fast forward, uh, my father passed away when I was nine. Obviously, we had to move to the city because in the 80s, uh, when Willie Nelson and all the uh, country music singers were doing farm aid for the farmers that were losing their farms in the 80s, um, we were one of the farms that actually went under and my family went bankrupt. And so in order to get work, we had to move to a bigger town or to the city. And my dad got work uh, with a construction company. And, um, and then he was killed. He was crushed by a caterpillar. Um, so, uh, but that was when I was younger and I was nine when we moved to the city and he had taken on work with the construction company. And uh, so fast forward now, um, 25 years, I meet this girl and she's from a small town and she takes me uh, takes me to meet her family and they still live in that same small town and they had all you know and everybody knows everybody in town and they had all the small shops and it was just what I remembered liking about my childhood and now I was having being able to relive that again as a, an adult with this girl and inevitably as things go down the track um, I fall in love and uh, and I get married to that girl and uh, you know it's easy to fall in love with somebody 
when your partner makes you feel like home. You know, when there's just something about that person, you know, it's, it's that feeling. You know, do you remember that feeling when you were a child and you played outside all day long? Uh, the moment you came home, you ate your dinner and went to bed. That's when the exhaustion set in, because when I was a kid, boy, we played until the streetlights came on, you know, and what a day, you know, you lay down, you close your eyes, you begin to drift off, Ex and everything was just right, you know, you feel safe to fall asleep, you know that there are people there to take care of you, you're under those comfy blankets to keep you warm, and you know the next morning there's going to be breakfast waiting for you you know, or you're going to get up and, and have a, a repeat of that good home life circumstance, you know, and that's exactly what I'm saying here. That's what true love makes you feel like. And every time you're with a person, you just feel overcome with that comfortable feeling of safety and, and warmth. And uh, after years of searching, I actually found that individual and, uh, and I love her. She's everything to me. The thing is, um, you can find that too. And that's just one way I'm mentioning uh, that you can identify you found a good person or somebody that's right for you. Because I've proven it, that's how I found the person that was right for me. Now, another way that you can identify that maybe you're with the right person is that your relationship isn't high maintenance. Now, one of the reasons you feel so comfortable when you're with your significant other is that things are just so easy. You know, and don't get me wrong, every relationship has issues. Perfection does not exist. And sometimes you've got to work hard to keep yourselves from floating apart. But the relationship doesn't feel overwhelming. And on the contrary, it brings more positives than negatives into your life, helping you to thrive and grow as a person. You know, you don't fight about the petty stuff. You don't dredge up things from three years ago. There's not a new issue every two days. What you have feels stable, it feels good, and it feels sustainable. And that's important. If you have that, you are probably walking down the road with the right person. Now, you have, the next one is uh, having a foundation of trust and respect. Um, and do you know what else is stable? <laughs> you trust your your trust in each other. You know you have a stable trust. It's so important. And when you're dating the right person, there is no jealous scenes or snooping through each other's phones or questions that feel like an interrogation. A good partner decides to trust you, and does not stop unless you give them a clear reason. Okay, we're not petty. You know, and that, that petty crap, you need to get away from those people. Because I tell you what, it'll never stop. It'll drag you down. It'll beat you up. You know, you want to be with somebody that abides by the innocent until proven guilty rule. Giving you the benefit of the doubt. And that's because they respect you. You know, and I've seen so many relationships fall apart because of lack of respect. You know, boundaries get crossed, contempt sets in, emotions get invalidated, and disagreements. I, I see it all the time. Disagreements escalate into insults. You know, a truly, the truly right person for you isn't going to be like that. Um, they will always treat you with respect and trust. And you should demand that because you know what? You're special, you're amazing, and you deserve other people's respect. And if they're not giving you respect, that's not your problem. That's their problem, okay? And we just walk away from those circumstances in the kindest and friendliest way possible. And we let them do whatever they're going to do, okay? Because you deserve other people's respect. You know, in my opinion, also, you know, you're, you want to be with somebody who doesn't make you compromise your interests. You know, a huge sign of respect is the fact that even when a new partner enters your life, you can keep on devoting your time to all your interests and hobbies. You know, they don't ask you to cut that stuff. Um, I remember I have a friend as an example who told me, you know, hey, I used to work out all the time, but then my new girlfriend kept asking me to spend every day with her. So I kind of stopped and never got back into it. You know, and it's a tragedy when one person who should support you most is at the core of your stagnation. You know, but if you're in a relationship with the right person, you don't have to worry about that. 
you can keep pursuing your interests all you like. Now, if you're with the right person, another way to identify is that you feel supported. You know, not only that, but your partner will also actively support you in doing what you love. Now, I'm not saying they need to join you. Um, you know, they need to join your crochet club or get into genealogy or geology or whatever it is that you enjoy doing in your free time, you know, but that they are allowing you to do what it is you want to do and to keep your life intact, even though they've, they've come into it, you know, and they ask you questions and express their support. And, uh, you know, that's important. Make sure that that's somebody, you have somebody in your life who isn't asking you to compromise, but it's asking questions about your hobbies and cares about you as an individual because they know that that's, a, that's a, an important part of your life and they should be offering you support for that. Now, the funny thing is, um, you know, I just happen to be lucky enough to have a person who does that for me. In fact, when I make these videos every day, just sitting two feet away from me here is my wife. Um, she's always with me. She always supports me. Get somebody in your life that's with you that will listen to your needs and desires and support your hobbies and the interests that you had before they came into your life. Because you know what? That's who you are. You are who you were before they came into your life. And you may enhance yourself and change as a result of them coming into your life. But don't allow somebody to come in and just completely change your entire scenario. Continue to be you because you are who you are because you're where you are as a result of the path that you're taking right now. And that path that you're on is inevitably going to get to the destination you desire, which is the goals you are setting. Okay. Now, you know you can open up and will be success and will be accepted by this person. And that's a big thing. You know, on the very first point, we talked about safety, right? But let's come back to that for a moment. Safety is so very crucial to the success of any relationship because it's what prompts you to be vulnerable with each other, deepening your emotional connection, right? Now, if you're in a relationship with the right person, you don't have a problem with that. You know that if you share some vulnerable information, you won't be met with judgment and contempt. Um, your partner will just accept you into your accept you in your entirety, mistakes included. Okay, we all make mistakes, and we've all made mistakes in the past, and you don't necessarily want to be, you know, in the courtroom every day with somebody having to rehash your history or your past. Okay, and you want to make sure that it's somebody that you know you can rely on. You know, acceptance isn't the only thing that, you know, you can count on whenever your partner is concerned. Um, in fact, reliability is a common trait of people who have genuinely good intentions. They never mean you harm or disappoint you. And so they're very likely to keep their word and do what's best to make you happy. You want to think about that. I mean, you want somebody who will run errands for you, help you do the house chores and support you when you're going through tough times. You know, you want somebody who's got your back. And when you got somebody who's got your back, that's just one of the best feelings in the world, right? You know, you want somebody who shows an active interest in your life, however, you know. Um, they have interest in you. A good partner will never get bored of you. They'll ask you questions about your day, no matter how dull and take you out on dates. They'll look into things you truly care about and make sure to be there for you on all your important events. Nothing comes before you. When somebody loves you and cares about you truly, they'll make you a priority. They'll be interested in you. You know, it's one of those things where they're not with you just because it's easy. They're with you because they find you irresistible. They find you as somebody that they always want to be with. And, you know, it's not always going to be easy. Life isn't always easy. So you want to make sure the person you're with is there through the good and the bad. And I want you to watch their temperament, too. When things get bad, how do they behave? 
because eventually you're going to bring children into the relationship and things like that. Or how, you know, when if they can't handle things uh, now as you're working towards success, how the hell are they going to handle things when things get complex and you and you get your success? You know, anytime you bring a bunch of success into your life, things inevitably always get more complex. You want to think about that. Is your current relationship with somebody who is supporting you now that things are difficult? Are they still going to be there when things get more complex and a little more difficult? Having money and success in your life doesn't make your life easy. It only makes your life easy in the eyes of others that read newspaper articles and listen to the media, okay? Because when you get more success in your life, you have more responsibility, things get more complex, the bills get bigger, you know, the, the, people, the, the amount of people in your life evolves and gets greater. So you wanna make sure that you have somebody in your life that's gonna be able to handle the circumstance. And if they love you, it doesn't matter what comes along, they should be able to do it together with you. Because I tell you what, when you have the right person in your life, together you can overcome anything, you can accomplish anything. It's, it's amazing to have that person in your life. You know, and uh, another thing is that, uh, you know, um, when you're talking about having the right person in your life, you know, I think one of the final things I want to talk about is the fact that you need to make sure that you feel loved and appreciated. And to me, this is the biggest one. You could tell everything you ever wanted to know about somebody in your life as to whether or not they love and appreciate you. That's, that's the biggest thing to me. You know, expressing love can be a tricky thing, right? So if they can get this right, they can get a lot more right. And uh, it's probably a good indication that they're a value add to your circumstance. You know, and while some people are big on compliments and love letters, others just want to cuddle. I'm a cuddler. I'm the, hey, let's get a blanket and get on the couch with some big pillows and, and watch a movie that we've already seen a thousand times. I'm totally all about that. You know, and, and not to mention those who feel most loved um, when you do something for them from washing the dishes or taking them out on a date. You know, it doesn't have to just be sitting on the couch with a blanket and a bunch of big pillows. There are other ways to show love as well. Sometimes when we're helping out with chores and, hey, honey, you don't have to, to do the dishes. Let me do the dishes. You just sit and relax. I'll be with you in a minute. You know, or maybe, you know what, one way to overcome the argument about dishes or house chores, do it together. You know what? It's it's an easy thing. It's an easy thing when uh, you're in a circumstance where one person won't help or you feel like you always do one chore. Ask them to join you. Do things together because when you're doing things together, you're sharing the responsibility and it makes you feel equal and it makes you feel good about the task at hand. You know, and that's one of the things. Just take time to learn your love language. Put in the effort, you know, and and do what's necessary in order to make the other happy. And when you're both doing that for each other, it can change everything for you. It can bring more success in your life and it'll help you manifest amazing things. You know, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, and it is not self-seeking. It is also not easily angered it keeps no record of wrongs, and love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. That's one of my favorite biblical passages from Corinthians 13, 4 through 7, and I've no truer words were ever written down. Okay, there, that's exactly what it is. There is a language to love. There is also a way to identify if you're with the right person. Listen to your heart, okay? Do not compromise. Do not say, oh, well, this is probably the best I can do. That's a bunch of crap. Get the right person in your life so you can live the right type of life that you want to live. You're only getting one bite at the apple. Don't be with somebody who puts you down or treats you inappropriately or doesn't care about you or your interests or doesn't want to spend time with you or is so busy with other things that they just make you feel second. 
There are so many people out there. Trust me, the right one is out there for you. Um, but if you're with the right one, I hope some of the ideas that I've shared with you has helped you to re-identify that that is the right person for you. So you know what? Love them. Love them with all your heart and do the best you can to be the best partner you can be and help them to help you. Okay? Friends, I care about you. I want you to have special people in your life and I want you to have great relationships. I want you to find love. And I want you to have love in your life, okay? It changes everything. You, you know, you can't buy the type of love I'm talking about. I don't care how successful you are, how much money you make, how many businesses you own, how powerful you are as an individual. You can't buy having that feeling of being with the right person and how that changes your life, okay? So seek that because you know what? He who seeks will also find. And if you're looking for the right person, the right person will be attracted to you, will come into your life. I believe it. I know it's possible. And I want to tell you something. If you ever find a girl whose fetish is handicapped bald guys, it's a winner. I'm telling you what, I found that girl. I'm never letting her go. <laughs> Just a little joke I always tell. My wife's smiling right now, but... Uh... It's one of those things. Friends, there's love out there for you. The right person will come into your life. I know they will. You just have to believe it's true. If it's one of your goals, set it as a goal. Walk down that path. You will inevitably achieve it. I believe it. I know it's true. I believe in you. I care about you. And I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll be back tomorrow with some really great stuff. Okay? Take care.